great spirit, thou who moves through all nations and yet can mark each sparrow's fall, we, this assembly of soul, come together in the oneness of the brotherhood of man, peace that comes from union with thee if upon planet Earth. Thankful are we for the opportunity to continue to have our friends, our relatives, our neighbours in our lives, even though that transition has taken place. Thankful are we that throughout the trauma that this planet has gone through, that we know that you have moved and had your being, bringing healing, peace and love. We come together this night to be in the oneness of your great love, to know that we can feel thy presence deep within our being, knowing full well that we cannot be where you are not. Great Spirit, see into our hearts, understand our thinking, and dwell with us always. Amen. And the passage that I have chosen is by Gordon Higginson, and it's called Listening. When you pray, you become the prayer. We understand that God is an inner power, not an outside one. When you ask for something in prayer, it is no use expecting an outside power to come along and to give you what you have requested. But if you can become your prayer through the sincerity and depth of your thoughts, then you have the answer. Each person will experience prayer in their own way because each of us is different. There are some who will use a formula, but I do not think that this has a great value. When you use the same words over and over, they become at best not a prayer, but a mantra. And that is a different matter entirely. Prayer must be stimulated from the heart, not the memory. Prayer is not all about asking, even when we think that we are asking for the right things. Prayer is listening, communicating, being at one with reality, the reality of God. In prayer, we become our God. And if we listen, we are giving the answers the strength and knowledge to see through our troubles, not from an outside source, but from our inner reality. In that touching of our soul with the great soul of the universe, we are filled with love and humility. We no longer want for ourselves, but also for that which is right for humanity. It may be that we have our part to play. Then we will be giving the strength of purpose to fulfill our task. It might be that we have to stand back and allow events to shape our lives. So we are giving the understanding which helps us to do it. It can take many years to learn to pray properly and some we never learn. But all the time we have to try, of course, the more we try, the better we get. Prayer crystallizes within you what you are feeling about yourself, about your fellow men, and about your God. It is an expression of where you are and what you are. If you have absorbed the love of God and spirit, this will be manifest in your prayer. And if you have a sincere desire to help and to make progress, this will be hurt. We all have this, what is needed within us. For wonderful uh, talk or reading that you did, 
Um, absolutely loved it and loved the man who spoke those words and very relevant for today because you know we have to be careful as as spiritualists who believe that life continues after death and that the spirit world are always there for us because we have to be careful that we don't actually feel and ask them to do everything for us that we don't believe that they can in their own way to live or even create something for us and unfortunately for many many people when they first arrive and they know that that contact with the spirit world is there it gives them that feeling because of the, sometimes there's a lovely message that comes across when a medium's working and the message is usually now be good and know that I am with you but in other cases you may get an insight into something that's taking place in your life but it is an insight and we have to be careful that we don't lose sight of the true essence of the God source that's within us and there again that's another difficulty for you and I particularly if we've been brought up in a religion where we've got a man sat on a throne actually doling out love or mm, punishment I know that that was the religion that I was brought up in so very very difficult for us to make that change not depending anymore on the spirit world but just loving them for loving sake allowing communication to happen because that's what the spirit world loves to do and they do love communicating with us and it does bring them great joy when they can say to us well done but the God source, that's the essence of our lives. That knowing, that power that's within and sitting in that power and releasing that great feeling that emanates from deep within our being that is beyond love, beyond words. It is a feeling of peace, comfort and support and it rises from deep within and it stirs our minds and it makes us aware that we are all part of one stupendous whole whose body nature is but God the soul so when we come to that part where we think of prayer we can think of love, love beyond measure, beyond our understanding and we can rest our weary minds and our physical frame in the glory of that love and that's really where the prayer starts, it's loving that power that has created this planet not a man sat on a throne anymore, but an essence, an intelligence, knowing full well that that essence and that presence moves through all nature, all life support is there, even to a great blade of grass, the bird, the insect, the fish, all things coming forward in the goodness of this great power that is termed God. So for you and I, how can we pray? We can pray just emanating from deep within our being that great power, that great love that resides within us. We can believe that that power is there because we are capable of feeling it, of being aware that there is a power far, far greater than our heartbeat or our muscles. 
or the movement of our bones. There is a great, great source within. And that great source loves us, continually loves us, even when perhaps we turn away a little bit and take a wrong turn, we can guarantee that eventually that source will be, bring us back on track and we will walk on and we will walk on with the love of the great spirit that resides within our being. And you know, we cannot be where the great spirit is not. And our prayer can be a prayer of thanksgiving, a prayer of rejoicing, a prayer of knowing that God lives and lives far, far beyond this planet, far, far beyond this universe. That breath, that sacred breath of God. No wonder how many of you, for instance, never think about taking a breath. And yet you can't live without breath. But there is a sacred breath. The breath you take before you go into that silence and allow your soul to rise and allow the words of your spirit to speak the prayer, to bring that community of spirit together here on this planet. Our prayer is when we walk. Our prayer can be when we talk. Our prayer can be when we listen. For indeed, when we are there, God is there also. Prayer is very, very important. Very important because it's your special time with the union of your knowledge and your understanding of the God source. It's that communion, that time when you don't listen to other people's philosophy, you're not listening to a piece of music, that special communion, that union with your God within, knowing full well that wherever you are, that power emanates. So our prayer can be one of thanksgiving Thanksgiving that we have the opportunity to live here on planet Earth, to rejoice in that which we will achieve. And particularly if we're achieving it because our prayerful mindfulness has said, thy will be done, not my will be done. What a thought that is. How difficult to get there. How difficult to relinquish and surrender what you feel you should have and say, ah, but this journey is about the God source, the God source within me. The journey is about my soul. The journey is about the spirit. And in that, my footsteps may walk on barren lands and maybe I will have to feel the pain like thousands and thousands of other people. And maybe I will have to make a decision and I can pray that God will be there when I am making that decision about my life and my future and my present and the service I can render to humanity. Prayer is the living reality of the oneness of who you are. But are you just one person? Yes, you are, aren't you? You've got a name, a label. I'm Mavis, I've got Jean sat in front of me, Karen is there. 
all these labels, right? You're not just Mavis, you're not just Jean, you're not just Karen. There is a power that resides deep within your being. And if we walk in harmony with that power and we pray to be in harmony with that power, then our prayers will be answered and we will know that we took the sacred breath and gave thanks for the sacred breath and said thank you for my life. That is prayer. That is prayer. Do we need to kneel down, close our eyes, put our hands together? No. I believe you can walk by a stream. You can be in the city. You can be on the top of a mountain. Or you can be in the countryside. You can be wherever you want to be. And that source will hear your prayer. How wonderful is that? And if we go forward looking and thinking, I am at peace with my God within. And in that, I am at peace with my fellow man. For if that source is within me, it also resides within everyone and every living thing. Sometimes the philosophy is a bit daunting, but prayer is simple. Prayer is love. Prayer is belief. Prayer is feeling and knowing and allowing your God to move through you. Thank you so much for listening to me. Great Spirit, thankful are we for the power that ensues from within our being that allows us this opportunity of communicating with our loved ones. Thankful are we that they're still in our lives. We are aware that as our thoughts wing out to the spirit world, that our love moves all the way through, giving them joy, upliftment. May we leave the spirit world and this world in your care and in your keeping, now and always. Amen.